What's up everybody, I'm Eric from Academia Mendix Brazil and in this video we're going to continue our learning path of how to create a basic Mendix application. Today we are going to work with associations and images, so this is very important, a very important topic that I truly believe you're going to learn a lot. But before we begin with this, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and also like this video, so let's help this video to reach more people and more people can learn with this, so please. Thumbs up. Well, let's go back to our project. Let's go back to our approval app. Let's go. All right, so the goal of this video, we are going to create images. So the goal of this video is to create images for each product we have in our application. So remember last video, we created three reports, three video games, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. So we are going to add images to those products. So how I create images, how I can attach images to a existing record. So first of all, we're going to create a new entity. Let's drag and drop it here. Double click it. And uh, we're going to give a name to this entity, which is going to be product image. Next, we need this entity to be the image of the product. How do you do this? Do you see here generalization? Yeah, let's click it. And here we can select a entity that already have that, let's say, image feature. Let's search here image. And we have this image right here, this entity called image from the system module. So let's double click it and we can just hit OK. So right now this entity is going to inherit all of the features, all of the attributes and associations from that entity. So let's say this product image is going to inherit the image entity. So now this is a sort of image entity. We are going to store images in that entity in our database, in the database of the application. So just to give you a glance of how this system module works, let's double click it here in the module system, double click the domain module. And uh, here we have a lot of entities that are very useful, that are useful for our application. They cannot be changed, right? They're just read only. Uh, we can even use the, the, the image entity itself, but that's not really, that's not really a good practice. Let's just uh, stick to the fact that we need to inherit from the image entity from the system module and create a new entity called product image. That's what we're going to do here. Well, um, let's then connect those two entities. How do you do this? We need to create an association that is going to connect both of those entities. If you put the mouse here on the left edge of this entity, you click, you drag and drop here. So that's it. Uh, right now, both entities are connected. Both entities kind of belong to each other. Here basically says that one product can have many images and an image can have only one product. Well, that, it could be the case, right? Because a product can have more images, but for our application, we are only going to have one image per product. So we'll have to change this. So let's double click this association. And uh, here in the multiplicity option, let's click here. One product object is associated with one product image object. By doing this, now each entity belongs to each other. So my product can have only one image and one image can have only one product. Another cool thing that we can do is let's double click again the association and let's say we delete a product. What is going to happen to my image? The image will be lost in the database, it will be like a loss record using a pointless space. So let's say I want to delete the product and also delete the image. So what I'm going to do is on the delete of product, delete the product image as well. So let's click OK. And now our association becomes this red right here, which means that once I delete my product, its image is also going to be deleted. Great. That's all we want. We can close the domain model. We are ready here. Uh, we don't need to do anything else here. Uh, and let's add this uh, entity to our pages where we actually create the product, right? So let's go back to our module. 
we go to product overview pretty simple we don't really need to do anything here on this uh, data grid let's go to the product new edit and here down below the description let's right click and we get let's select data view double click the data view because this data view we are going to show the image of the product so let's uh, keep selected context let's select and here you can see that we have the association from the NED product which is in the data view right there and let's click product image just underneath the association let's click select let's click OK uh, let's click yes to automatically fill the contents and there we go we have our image let's uh, delete this uh, input fields here like name size a product and let's just keep this one to upload the image and this one is a way to get to display the image let's see how the design mode looks like so we can have like a overview a preview of how this is going to be in the screen well the image is pretty huge let's reduce this a little bit let's keep the image selected let's go here properties styling uh, and let's go no let's go back to properties and uh, here with a unit let's click pixels well this is pretty good it's 100 pixels uh, and let's also here on styling let's centralize let's see align contact center align as column there we go this is pretty good already so we are going to have on this page the option to either enter details about the name about the description and also upload the image great awesome let's close this page we are not ready yet but why because when uh, we are going to change the records we have we don't have an image we don't have a record of the image associated to those records so you have to sort of figure it out whether those records already have an image or not if we don't have the image we have to create it and associate to the pre-existing record so here on the edit button let's uh, double click it let's instead of show a page let's call a microflow and here we are going to create our first microflow which is great let's uh, create here objects let's click new yes let's select this product here as a parameter to the microflow and in the name let's add here act underscore product underscore edit and let's click okay awesome let's show the microflow let's click okay and as you can see we have the product here which is the product we want to change right and uh, what we're gonna do we're going to click here action activity let's connect to the, to the flow this is actually the first time i'm showing here a microflow as you can see here we have this uh, green circle which means that's the beginning of the logic and here on the right side we have the end of the logic so the logic goes from left to right and the first action we're going to do we are going to check whether we have a object or not let's for now, delete this. We don't need this activity right now. Let's bring to the table this decision option, this yellow square. Let's click it. Let's bring it here. And this, it's like a if else statement, which checks whether a condition is true or false. Double click it. Here on the caption, let's add has image. And here we can add the expression, the yes or no statement. And here let's enter dollar sign and uh, we go to the product variable which is the parameter we have right there just behind this window let's put backslash and here on this association the association we just created let's check whether this is different from empty let's click ok let's right click this uh, line and the condition value is going to be false and uh, we are going to also add this red square which is a merge right and let's click here on top of this yellow square and connect it here so let's right click here condition value true so 
If it's true, I'm going just on this and open the page. We are going to add the activity to open the page in a minute. And here, if we don't have the false, if you don't have the image, we're going to create the image for the record. So let's add here now in activity, double click the activity. And here we are going to create an object. Here we can select the entity. So we are going to create a record and you need to connect those objects, those entities. How are we going to do this? We click here, new member, we select this association and we're going to just to enter my product. Let's click OK and let's select here commit, which means we're going to commit. We're going to put into the database, right into the database that record. All right. So let's click OK. Let's uh, we can do like this, make it fancier, right? And let's open the page to edit that product. So what are we going to do? Let's drag and drop here this page right here. Double click it. There we go. We have the product. Great. And when we are going to open the product, we are going to create the image and then we can upload the image. Well, we are not finished yet. We need to also, when creating a new record, we have to create a product image and associate that image. So we can even, let's uh, create a folder here. So we can make this project a little bit more organized. Let's delete this microflow right here. Right. And uh, we can make use of this, not really use this logic. We can sort of, let's say, just change a few things here and uh, have the create microflow. You can right click this microflow. You can click duplicate. Uh, let's select, let's rename this. You can select the microflow and hit F2. Let's put it here, no. ACT product new. We are going to delete this product parameter. We are going to delete this decision. We are going to delete this merge. And we're going to reconnect the flow right here. We are going to add a new activity. Double click. Let's create an object. A product in this case. And here on this activity, we're going to give the new product, right? The new object we are creating. And here we're going to, we can even change here variable, new product. And there we go. We have the new microflow. Let's instead of opening the page, like, like here, uh, we're not going to use uh, this page. We're going to actually delete this button because this is a creation button. Let's right click here at button left in action, double click, caption. Let's put a new and here on the events call microflow, the microflow just created this one. And there we go. We have our page ready. Well, I don't think there's anything missing here. I just wanted to uh, highlight the merge right here. I think I didn't explain enough about the merge. It pretty much happens what it is. So if we split the logic lo right here like this, the merge is going to reconnect the flow, right? So it doesn't matter what happened here and here, this red square is going to sort of reconnect the flow to this flow right here, right? So we're ready, we're done. Let's run this and see how it works to upload images to a pre-existing product and also create new products. Let's run it. All right, our application is running. We can begin by opening this one, the Xbox series, which is the video game I have. Let's edit and see, we can browse the image. We click here, browse. Let's just pick an image right here. I have the Xbox here open. Let's save. There we go. Let's open again and that's our Xbox. Pretty small, but it works. You see that the image is right here. Let's cancel. Let's now change the PlayStation 5. Let's browse. All right, let's search for a PlayStation. All right, this one, PS5. Save. Let's open again. There we go, our PS5. Awesome. Let's now, uh, let's delete this one. 
because we're going to create a new there we go we can browse so let's edit here nintendo switch latest nintendo console let's upload the image all right that's the switch let's open let's save let's open again there we go we have our nintendo switch awesome so this is in a nutshell how we can work with a lot of things i said in the beginning of the video that we are going to create a new uh, entity which is an image we did it we work it with associations awesome we also learned how to delete an object once the other one is deleted once they are of course associated to each other and we learned how to create microflows awesome so stay tuned there will be more content please don't forget to subscribe please give a thumbs up to this video please like this video that's a lot of work to make those videos because i also have to create subtitles portuguese subtitles to my public so everybody can learn at once so guys this was today's videos i hope you like it please comments doubts questions in the comments and i'll see you guys again in the next video bye bye